Hi, I'm Ria um, and I play midfield in the diamond or fullback. At the moment I'm not signed for a club, but not if I'm back in New Zealand I play for Lenaven United. Uh, yeah, hopefully a team in Germany in the Bundesliga, but just waiting to see at the moment. So from the last World Cup, um, I went the following year when I left school, I finished school and went and played in the States semi-professionally for FC Indiana. Um, and that was the Olympic year also. So straight from there I went over and played in the Olympics. It was amazing, it was good. Especially walking into the village, Olympic village with all the rest of the New Zealand athletes doing the hacker and stuff. So that's probably the best part. And then the following year, 2009, I went over and played in Canada for Ottawa Fury, um, just in the W League, which runs in Canada and the States. And then 2010, last year, I went back again to the same club in Canada. Uh, and then this year, I stayed in New Zealand for the year, training with the team. For me, I think it means a lot because I'm originally, I was born in England, um, and I've only really been living in New Zealand for eight years now. So to really play for New Zealand means a lot for me, especially playing against England in the World Cup, because um, I missed out last in the under 20s because I kind of got a red card and got sent off, or two yellows. <laughs> um, so I missed out on that chance then, but um, just having the chance to play against really England was the biggest thing. No, I didn't know him, but like the likes of like Kelly Smith and Yankee and all them, like they were like the stars of England when I was actually over there. So to really play against them and compete was really good, exciting. If you really want it and if you're really committed and you really love playing football, then you train hard and you get the results that you want and your dreams really come true, like playing the Olympics and World Cup. So if you really want to play and compete and you love it, then do it. So when we got here, it was good to arrive. It's kind of thinking back now when we were in Cyprus and how long we had and then it all just come around so quick. Um, but arriving, I was really excited just to really get started and get the first game underway. Um, and just stepping out onto the field, it's just a good, you get the goosebumps, get walking out with the anthem and stuff, so that was really cool. Um, but the heat was probably the main killer of the game, just really in that first half, getting, getting into the game, especially when we got back to a one-all one -all result. When we were really, I think it was probably the main bit of the game then, the, at the end of the first half. But um, the heat was definitely probably the hottest temperature I've ever played in. And it felt like I was going to like pass out after 20 minutes, <laughs> just quietly, that one is. But no, it was, it was a tough game for us, but I thought we played well, really. But um, I reckon with one of the subs they made, bringing in the player they did, I think that made a big difference to their team. Yeah, it's a good game for us, really, to, to go out on, I reckon. Um, we've played them before and we know that they're a good team and they've got good players, but then we know that we've also got a good team and good players as well. Um, so it should be a good game for us, I reckon. Not really for like for me. I've stayed quite focused, just because it's a World Cup and we've still got to finish it, no matter whether we've we're not going to go on. Um, so for me, I'm pretty focused and just want to get the results and get a good performance in before we go home.